on your feet. Next man. Right, you do. When faced by an armed and determined enemy, first you... And either you bash him one, or you stick him in the belly. And if you want to be real nasty, you... Right! Next man. You'll do. Let's try that again. You've had your treat. Let someone else have some fun. Proper airborne, born weren't you, Canada? Didn't you hear me, Evans? Well, what about some of the other boys, Sarge? I don't want to be too selfish. Come on. Right. When faced by an armed and determined enemy, first you... And either you bash him one or you stick him in the belly. And if you want to be real nasty, you... Red eyes, blank, blank, blank. Right. Gordon? He's leaving himself wide open. Watch. I am, am I? Come on. When faced by an armed and determined enemy, first you... Oh! Just a minute. What's your name? The Kendricks, sir. The British Army appreciates your generosity and donating gratuitous lessons in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As it happens, the Army's already prepared a manual based on some actual experience in real fighting. In future, you will cooperate with your instructors and refrain from exhibitions of circus gymnastics. Is that clear? Perfectly, sir. Hey, who's that new geezer over there? Don't ask me. I've never seen him before. He don't seem to like our Canada. Fall out. Carry on, Sergeant. Very good, sir. If you can. Next man. How long is it now, Flash? I was born up here. That sergeant must be Dracula's big brother. I'm afraid it's all my fault. And you ain't even queasy. How come, Canada? I'm a roller coaster man myself. That completes it, sir. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Paul. That was most instructive. Thank you, sir. If a little barbarous. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? As you've only just arrived here, sir, and I've. You're saying? Well, I thought that somebody who'd been here some time might be quite useful to you, sir. For instance. You'll be needing a second in command for that special stunt you've come to talk over, sir. Young man, stunt is a word I do not like, not when applied to a military operation. Slip of the tongue, sir, nothing more. Uh, the chief instructor said he put a word in. He did. It's a word I wouldn't care to use. But we'll see. A falling object descends earthwards at the rate of 32 feet a second, accelerating to the maximum speed of 176 feet a second. Blimey, that's what I call descending. Don't you worry, you'll be all right, Alf. As long as you land on that big head of yours. Green light on. Action stations number one and... Uh, hold it! And what may I ask are you doing up there? Practicing. If you want to be polite to a regimental sergeant major, you address him as sir. Practicing, sir. Dungeon dogs are never for it, so you do the gun. I have two volunteers to put him on his bed. You, are you? At the double. Oh, my leg. So you, what they're turning out as soldiers these days. I wanted to see for myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. A horrible lot of little men. Well, thank God we've still got a navy. Here, let's take a look. And I'll kick him in the... Bust balloon jump! 
All 600 hours tomorrow. Got it? Balloon jump? Look it up, Taffy. What does it say? Oh, balloons. The preliminary reports on the use of balloons for initial jumps are generally favorable. Due to the lack of the impact of the slipstream on the body, the, the tendency of the pupil to twist and somersault is almost eliminated. That's nice. On the other hand, the jumper has to fall a far longer distance before his parachute becomes fully opened. This delayed opening produces an additional thrill. You lucky people. The phenomena known as a Roman candle in which the parachute leaves the bag but fails to open in time. Lay off, will you? this one it's uh x type different from the others you're lucky it's what the pilots and instructors usually have come on change will you hurry up you well the customer is always right though we do happen to pack about 50 parachutes a day at least don't get sore oh i'm not sore i suppose it's quite natural for a chap to be a bit edgy before his first jump is it everybody is it's nothing to do with, well, being frightened, you know. That's very interesting. There. Now you can stop worrying and relax. It's a special I keep on one side. It's the best shoot I ever packed. Good. I wouldn't like to have to repack it on the way down. Hey, what's your name? Gardner. What Gardner? Just Gardner. Working girls don't have Christian names. You know, I haven't seen you around. I don't get around. Oh, uh, officer material. I said we work here. On your way, Mr. Maple Leaf. pick out a few volunteers for the first stick. Canada. Suppose you show us how it's done. You like doing that. Who else, Corporal Dawes? You, Evans. Gordon. Come on, Stubbins. Each man check his release box. Easy now. Nothing worse than a lot of blokes hitting their boxes at the same time. It sounds like the Salvation Army on a Sunday afternoon. Now you've got nothing to worry about. They're smashing parachute. They ought to be at 60 pounds apiece. your color. You look a little green. What color would you like? Suppose you surprise me. Okay, number one. A good parachuting position. Action station number one. Jump when I touch you on the shoulder. Are you ready? Go. There go 
was my first one. Reach up high on your front lift ropes. Pull down steadily now. Your head well forward. Feet together. Okay, hold that. Okay, number two. Three. Ready? Go! Look at mine. Oh, the silly, clumsy clot. like an old established firm. Heavy. Hmm. How about a drink tonight? <laughs> I might be able to manage Hello, it. Hello, Canada. Have a nice trip. You don't have to push me to make the job. No offense. Just trying to help. I don't need that kind of help. What makes you such a ruddy hero, McKendrick? It just ain't natural. If he puts his hands on me again, I'll brain him. How about that drink? Thank you, McKendrick. But this firm doesn't mix business with pleasure. WKRP. Living on the air on Antenna TV. At Westwood College, we're passionate about one thing. The success of our students. We'll support you from the first day of class to long after you graduate. Introducing our new Westwood Employment Pledge. We're so confident you'll receive the right skills to launch your career that if you haven't found employment within six months of graduation, we'll help pay your bills. Simple as that. Classes start soon. Visit westwoodpledge.com or call 1-800-861-7845 for details. I'm in trouble getting out of bed in the morning because my back hurts so bad. The sleep number bed conforms to you. Wake up in the morning with no back pain. I can adjust it if I need to, if my back's a little more sore. And by the time I get up in the morning, I feel great. If you have back pain, toss and turn at night, or wake up tired with no energy, the sleep number bed could be your solution. The sleep number bed secret is its air chambers, which provide ideal support and put you in control of the firmness. And the bed is perfect for couples because each side adjusts independently to their unique sleep number. Here's what clinical research has found. 93% of participants experienced back pain relief, 
90% reported reduced aches and pains. 87% fell asleep faster and enjoyed more deep sleep. For study summaries, call this number now. We'll include a free DVD and brochure about the Sleep Number bed, including prices and models, plus a free $50 savings card. And how about this? Steel springs can cause uncomfortable pressure points, but the Sleep Number bed contours to your body. Imagine how good you'll feel when your muscles relax and you fall into a deep sleep. I'm not just a back surgeon, I'm also a back patient. I sleep on the Sleep Number bed myself and I highly recommend it for all of my patients. Need another reason to call? The Sleep Number bed costs about the same as an inner spring, but lasts twice as long. So if you want to sleep better or find relief for your bad back, call now. Call 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit with DVD, brochure, and price list. Call 1-800-975-2900, and you'll also receive a $50 savings card just for inquiring about the Sleep Number bed. Ask about our risk-free 30-night in-home trial. That's 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit and a free $50 savings card. Call now. Gentlemen, we don't know one another very well yet. But this morning you start your training and we can start to find out. Half of myself. In formation, I'm a professional soldier. In intention, I propose to remain a professional soldier when this war is over. My method will be to see that you men are better soldiers than the men that you're fighting against. It's as simple as that. Now, this morning, you'll make your first jump from an aircraft. Now, you may have heard parachuting described as dicing with death in the skies. It's a revolting phrase, and quite apart from that, it's grossly untrue. Parachuting, in any case, is just a means to an end. It gets you into battle, no more. After that, you're an ordinary soldier. Now, remember that. You're soldiers, not stuntmen. Now, to get your wings, you do seven jumps. After that, you jump whenever ordered. A refusal means 84 days detention and your wings stripped off in front of the colonel. So if any of you has any idea that he doesn't want any part of this, now is the time to say so. And it's no disgrace either. Not now. Good. Carry on, Sergeant. Sir. All yours, Mr. Aldrich. Sergeant. Good lads. Time. Six and six. Red flag. Come on. The engine changed his noise. Means the pilot's throttling back. Yes, that means we've got to get ready. Prepare for action. Nothing to it, my lads. 88 jumps I've had, loved every one of them. Just like falling off a log. Only further. Right, what's the red light? Action station number one. Come on now, action stations. All right, tell you what I'll do. I'll jump first just to show you what a piece of cake really looks like. Commodores, Sergeant, you'll take over as dispatcher. Right. I think we get paid extra for this. Drop a swindle if you ask me. Stand by. Green light on, go. Just like falling off a log.
Sit over there. I'll get you drinks. Easy as falling off a log, he said. Look, he made 88 jumps, and the odds finally caught up with him. Didn't have to make that last jump. That's the way he played it, because he was a right guy. If he were here, he'd tell you to drink that beer instead of crying and do it. Let's have a game of darts, shall we? You two go ahead. I'm all right. I don't care for darts either. Maybe it'll make him more cheerful. Well, that's a rousing welcome. What did you expect? A 21 gun salute? Make it 48, will you? I heard about this morning. About Breton. Let's talk about something else, huh? I was wrong about you. I thought you were like most of the others. Scared inside and covering up. But you're not scared, are you? Sure I am. No, you're not. You know what they say around here? There are two types of men who jump. Those who are crazy and those who are scared. You're neither, and I don't think I like it. Another drink? You pride yourself on it, don't you? It's important to you, very important. What? Being brave all the time. Loads of physical courage. <laughs> what is this? Truth the consequences? You're quite right. Let it pass. You know, I didn't know you were interested. It's purely academic, I assure you. You don't look academic to me. Mr. McKendrick, it may interest you to know that a great many women are not partial to the Superman type. They prefer a little human weakness, a little humility. Look, everybody's scared of something. That coming from you could be quite an admission. I gather you two gentlemen know each other. Pinky, this is Mr. McKendrick. Please to meet you. Sit down, McKendrick. Here is the news. It was announced from Washington today that President Roosevelt has transferred 50 American destroyers to His Majesty's government as part of a Lend-Lease grant. Lend-Lease. In exchange, leases have been given the United States for the construction of airfields and naval bases in British Commonwealth territory as part of America defense program. Defense? What are the Yanks defending? Who's shooting at them? Yeah, that's right. Fifty stinking tin cans. Lousy old tubs that ain't been a sea since World War One. They are a nice profit to make from the two. America will fight, you'll see. Yeah, they'll fight. Fight to the last Englishman. The last Welshman, too. They're all right when it comes to talking war. What I say is, when do they start fighting it? Well, about right now. You sound like a bloody yank yourself. Arrest. 
Rose Sergeant. Take Anybody got a razor blade? What do you want a razor blade for? You think he's gonna cut his throat? I'd like private doors. You know, if you ask me, you're lucky to get busted. Look at that bloke Hitler. He was a corporal. Ain't doing him much good, is it? You got something there. Is that correct, McHenry? No, sir. I started it. Anything to add? No, sir. Very well. Striking a superior is a court-martial offense. But Corporal Dawes says that he started it. So, I want to find out what really happened. You go back under close arrest. Private mechanic, about time! Quick march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left! Give me a service record, will you, Sergeant Major? Yes, sir. Angry man, that one. So get that out of him, sir. My anger's a good thing sometimes in a fighting soldier, properly directed, of course. Are you suggesting, sir, that he be given special treatment? On the contrary, son, Major. Let me see now. Enlisted, Montreal, place of birth, Los Angeles. Well, anything else, sir? College, two years, profession, just as aircraft industry, that's all. Only previous military experience, sir. None enlisted. Pretty vague, huh? Hmm. So I suppose when you're short of men, you don't ask too many questions. Ask the security boys to run a special check on him, will you, Sergeant Major? Yes, sir. He interests me. The Adventures of Rim Tin Tin on Antenna TV. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real, naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Plus, we'll also send you this $250 gift certificate just for calling. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair. So don't put it off any longer. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-447-7520. That's 1-800-447-7520. Chris Parrish was about to hear two words that would change her life forever. When you say, oh, I have pancreatic cancer, that's what people think, that you're going to die. Research started and I pulled up Cancer Treatment Centers of America. To find out more about treatment options for complex and late stage cancer, go to cancercenter.com. You'll be able to see our treatment results for many types of cancers and how they compare to national averages. You can also check for participating insurance plans. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, every resource, every one of us, everything we do every day is focused on you, our patient, your treatment, your healing, your survival. Dr. Levin, he was ready to start right in on the inner arterial. This is the biggest fight I've ever had, and I don't like losing. Our physicians, clinicians, and nurses are highly experienced and dedicated. We use state-of-the-art technology and give you treatment options you may not even know exist. I just celebrated two years of being treated but being alive. That was huge. Please call or go to CancerCenter.com today. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Care that never quits. Are you exhausted by aching feet and legs? Do you suffer from swollen ankles and calves? Now, there's Miracle Socks, the new anti-fatigue compression socks that soothe, massage, and energize your feet and legs. Look, pressure from everyday activity can cause swelling and aches, but Miracle Socks compression technology applies graduated pressure to boost circulation and help reduce aches and swelling. When your feet hurt, everything hurts. But Miracle Socks massage and stimulate feet and ankles for instant results. Unlike ugly medical compression socks. Miracle socks are as thin and discreet as trouser socks and fit in any shoe. Perfect for relieving swollen ankles and feet on airplanes. Miracle socks help relieve symptoms of varicose veins and excess fluid retention. Poor circulation in the foot and leg can cause swelling and pain. 
I recommend Miracle Socks to my patients to help control these symptoms. I'm on my feet 12 to 16 hours a day, and it hurts. But with Miracle Socks, I can keep on going. Whenever I travel, I wear Miracle Socks. My shoes fit, and my legs don't swell. I have varicose veins, and I'm embarrassed by ugly support stockings. No one knows I'm wearing Miracle Socks. They are truly a miracle. Stop suffering and enjoy soothing relief with Miracle Socks. Similar compression socks can cost $50 or more. Call now and get the amazing Miracle Socks in your choice of black or white for just $10. As a special bonus, you also get a tube of Miracle Foot Repair Cream Free. Use one of America's best Selling foot creams to help relieve dry, callous feet overnight. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer absolutely free. You get it all. Two pairs of Miracle socks in your choice of black or white, plus two tubes of Miracle Foot Repair, all for just $10. So call now. Call 1-800-568-3211 to get your Miracle Socks and Miracle Foot Repair for only $10 and we'll double the offer. Just pay additional processing and handling. Call 1-800-568-3211 or visit GetMiracleSocks.com. That's 1-800-568-3211. Call now. Hi there. No prison pallor, I see. What's this, ladies' rehabilitation society? No, I've been waiting here to apologize. Well, well. Not to you, not now, but, well, to the United States. We accept your apology. Look, I came here with good intentions, and at another time I might admit you had some provocation for the other night. But for a grown man to, well, it's positively disgraceful, and I ruined my best pair of nylons. Have you any idea what nylons cost these days? That is, if you can get them? Whatever it was, it was worth it. So help me, next time I have a bottle, I'll launch that guy. Hold it! Keep trying, Plosky. Polesky. What's the matter, Cookie? I got my walking papers. They're sending me back to my old unit. You'd be the best cook in the British Army. Not me. I've applied for a transfer to the commanders. Hey, you've got something there. Not a help, McKendrick. I couldn't possibly agree to a transfer. Look, do you realize what it costs to train just one parachutist? Over 5,000 pounds. If I transfer you, what have we got for our money? Absolutely nothing. There are two ways a man can get out of here. By refusing to jump, or feet first. Is that final, sir? Of course, you could refuse to jump. All right, you can fall out. Sir. Yes, I suppose I should have known. Your wings. Thank you, sir. Company! I... You've been rehearsing this for months on mock-ups of the actual terrain. It should be as familiar to you as the back of your hand. Only this is the real thing. Operation Pegasus goes tonight. Now, you all know its purpose. It's to bring back a piece of German radar equipment that has been helping to shoot down our bombers. Now, to recapitulate for the last time. Our first group will take the house and the radar post. 
and will hold it until our radar expert, whom you'll meet later, can dismantle the equipment and get what he needs. Meanwhile, we will hold off the Jerry garrison in the farmhouse, and our second group will take and hold the beaches where we'll join them until the Navy can take us on. Any questions? Any suggestions? Right. Now, you men come from a lot of different places and a lot of different units. But you've certain things in common. You are all volunteers, and you're all hand-picked. That's a British tradition that we inherited from the first original Roman legions. You're well armed. I think you've been well trained. You've got a full moon and a rising tide. The rest is up to you. Good hunt. What's that? Oh, one of the girls wrote it. Give my heroes kind wind and fair weather. Let no parachute sidle or slump. For the day we go warring together. And my soul will be there at the jump. It's rather good, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I... Pot is not in my line. Why do you always have... Stop talking there! Right, out on the tarmac, you men. Move yourself. Let's begin. Deck! Quick! Arch! Sorry for the man who hears the pipes and who wasn't born in Scotland. Stand by, Jim Blaine. Jim Blaine. Climb aboard, boys. Well, good luck to you. I'll see you back at the camp in the morning. I hope so, sir. Listen, everybody. This is Flight Sergeant Box. He's our radar dismantling expert. Take a good look at him. All right, sit down now. Our job's going to be to take very good care of him. I'll be taking too bloody good care of myself. Thank you.
What a nice little lace doily. Look at him. No nerves. Sleeps through it all. One more crack like that, there'll be no teeth. That's enough of that. Save all that for the jellies. I think the men are getting a bit on edge, sir. You think they're the only ones? Did I ever tell you about the Gurkhas when I was in India? Wonderful little soldiers. When I asked for volunteers to jump, the whole battalion stepped forward. So I told them about their conditions of training and that they do their first jump from a thousand feet. There was absolute uproar. Then finally, the Subadar Major, he's the equivalent of the RSM, stepped forward and said, Sahib, the men are not easy in their minds. They would rather do their first jump from 500 feet. But look, I said, at 500 feet, the parachutes mayn't have time to open. A broad grin spread over his face. Oh, Sahib, he said, we didn't realize we were going to have parachutes. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought it was that funny, Mister. Antenna TV. TV, how it was meant to be. Your city. Quite a scene around the Los Angeles area. Your community. From Hollywood. In Cyprus. In downtown Los Angeles. Your choice for news. Sky 5 was over the scene. Every weeknight at 6 and 10. KTLA 5, first to break the news. We cover every story like a local story. Our carport just got caught on fire. 125. I'll just the forecast for where you live. Temperatures are going to be even warmer tomorrow. KTLA 5 News, Southern California's local news source. Weeknights at 6 and 10 and at KTLA.com. My world is driving me crazy. My world? What world? If your world is controlled by alcohol, there is hope. We're AA, alcoholics helping other alcoholics get sober. You'll find us in the phone book, your local newspaper, or on the web at aa.org. When I grow up, I want to be a psychologist or a therapist. I want to be a pediatrician. I was hoping to become a chef someday. I want to own a big house with the convertible and the jacuzzi and the pool, you know, all the good stuff. Role models, they don't tell you what to do, but they help you to go where you're going. I want to study law. I don't want to become a lawyer. I want to become a CIA agent. Young people, I think, do need a mentor because, you know, we don't know everything. And, you know, all the people, they've experienced stuff that we haven't. I would like to be a baseball player. As long as there's somebody behind you pushing you and supporting you, then you feel that you always have the strength to keep going. Well, I would like to become like a, a doctor. That's my first choice. Sometimes you feel down and you feel that like no one really understands and no one knows like wh where you're coming from. And it's great to see someone who's been where you are now and you know making it. Each of our children has hopes and dreams for their future. Help them get there, become a mentor. With the new year comes resolutions when we resolve to stop snacking and slacking, resolve to start reading and running. This year, resolve to help someone else too. Resolve to support the American Red Cross because the Red Cross provides hope, help, and compassion not only during disasters, but every day. Resolve to do something that means something. Support the Red Cross before the new year. Visit redcross.org today. We are mothers, and daughters, and sisters, and husbands, and best friends. And for two days and 39 miles, we are one in our commitment to fighting breast cancer. This is Reese Witherspoon. Join me in the fight against breast cancer. Register today for the Avon Walk for Breast Cancer and help us take one step closer to the cure. The Avon Walk for Breast Cancer is coming to a city near you. Take the first step and register today. America loves TV. That's right. Antenna TV. TV, how it was meant to be. Just crossing the French coast. We'll be throwing you out in a few minutes. Thank you, Skipper. Prepare for action. One last word. All wounded have to be left just where they are. 
Get in and out as quickly as you can. That's all. Well, good luck, everybody. If all else fails, just tread on their blank, blank fingers. As you can, Sergeant Box. Well, why don't you kiss it? Get a ready move on yourself, man.
If the Navy find us in this suit... What's happening to the Navy? Looks like a long swim home. You swim? Luftdoch! Machtdoch! More and more of the Germans. I thought you weren't going to make it. So did I. We met a German destroyer outside the port. Here you are, boys. Oh, Tom. Thanks. Well, what was it like? I don't know, very foggy. The Germans? Uh, I couldn't understand a word they said. Here. Cincinnati WKRP. 
Chris Parrish was about to hear two words that would change her life forever. When you say, oh, I have pancreatic cancer, that's what people think, that you're gonna die. The research started and I pulled up Cancer Treatment Centers of America. To find out more about treatment options for complex and late stage cancer, go to cancercenter.com. You'll be able to see our treatment results for many types of cancers and how they compare to national averages. You can also check for participating insurance plans. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, every resource, every one of us, everything we do every day is focused on you, our patient, your treatment, your healing, your survival. Dr. Levin, he was ready to start right in on the inner arterials. This is the biggest fight I've ever had, and I don't like losing. Our physicians, clinicians, and nurses are highly experienced and dedicated. We use state-of-the-art technology and give you treatment options you may not even know exist. I just celebrated two years of being treated but being alive. That was huge. Please call or go to cancercenter.com today. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Care that never quits. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. These new meters are more accurate, they're easier to use, and the best news is you don't have to prick your fingers anymore. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. For more information, call 1-800-795-0335. I was having trouble getting out of bed in the morning because my back hurt so bad. The sleep number bed conforms to you. Wake up in the morning with no back pain. I can adjust it if I need to, if my back's a little more sore. And by the time I get up in the morning, I feel great. If you have back pain, toss and turn at night, or wake up tired with no energy, the Sleep Number Bed could be your solution. The Sleep Number Bed's secret is its air chambers, which provide ideal support and put you in control of the firmness. And the bed is perfect for couples because each side adjusts independently to their unique sleep number. Here's what clinical research has found. 93% of participants experienced back pain relief. 90% reported reduced aches and pains. 87% fell asleep faster and enjoyed more deep sleep. For study summaries, call this number now. We'll include a free DVD and brochure about the Sleep Number Bed, including prices and models, plus a free $50 savings card. And how about this? Steel springs can cause uncomfortable pressure points, but the Sleep Number Bed contours to your body. Imagine how good you'll feel when your muscles relax and you fall into a deep sleep. I'm not just a back surgeon, I'm also a back patient. I sleep on the sleep number bed myself and I highly recommend it for all of my patients. Need another reason to call? The sleep number bed costs about the same as an inner spring, but lasts twice as long. So if you want to sleep better or find relief for your bad back, call now. Call 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit with DVD, brochure and price list. Call 1-800-975-2900, and you'll also receive a $50 savings card just for inquiring about the Sleep Number Bed. Ask about our risk-free 30-night in-home trial. That's 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit and a free $50 savings card. Call now. I'm Dr. Pachorek. For years, I've been telling people how effective Alteril can be to help them sleep naturally without a prescription. And now Alteril is the number one selling all-natural sleep aid in America. And Alteril contains no diphenhydramine. Alteril is made of three unique sleep compounds, each proven to help induce sleep. L-tryptophan, valerian, and melatonin. Alteril is like three sleeping pills in one. If you want a safe and effective sleep aid that won't leave you groggy in the morning, try Alteril, America's number one selling all-natural sleep aid. Yes, he's behind the screen. He's still under a sedative, so please don't stay too long. Thank you. Hello, cop. Who is it? Blimey, it's the Yank. I feel still dopey. Otherwise, I'm in the pink. What I can to say is... Leave off, will you? It could have happened to anybody. How are the boys? Well, they're fine. Can I get you something? 
Not a thing. Sure now? Sure. I'm fine. Except my feet, they're, they're very cold. Do you think you could tuck that blanket in for me? I can't reach it from here. Sure. jumping with him in a fortnight again. Sure, I'll see you in the morning. Better men than you have felt like that. Thought you British were all for that. Stiff up a lip and that sort of thing. We're for a lot of things you might be surprised at. You're not kidding. What's this with a handkerchief? Tying it to my shoot. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, just an old English custom. Everything's a custom around here. Guess I just don't understand you people. No. No, I don't understand you. So why should I ever expect you to understand me? Wait. Here's something you will understand. Henceforth, therefore, the new official headgear will be worn at all times, unless personal or expressly directed otherwise by higher authority. Signed, J. Wilcox, DSO, MC, Lieutenant Colonel for Major General Commanding, 1st Airborne Division. Right, pull out front rank. Draw issue. 718, please. By 718. Seven and a half for me, please. Seven. By seven and a half. Well, put them on, or doesn't the style suit you? Put it on straight, man. You're not in a ruddy fashion parade. Size seven. Very becoming, sir. Well, anyway, get your hair cut. Kendrick, grab a chair and sit down. I just had an Army Council instruction to raise more artists. I've sent your name in. There's nothing to worry about. You just go before a selection committee, but that's a pure formality. I, uh, I don't want a commission, sir. It's not entirely a question of what you want, is it, McKendrick? The Army needs officers. I think that you, among others, would make a good one. So does Captain Langton. That should be enough. Sir, there's no regulation that says I have to take a commission. No, there's no regulation. But if a man has initiative and the power to lead, as I believe you have, he has an equivalent responsibility. Think it over. I have, sir. There are others who'd make better leaders. What's the matter, McKendrick? 
Don't you like officers? There's no regulation about that, either. No disrespect, sir. But I'm a private. I take orders. Let somebody else give them. I see. Very well, McKendrick, that's all. WKRP, living on the air on Antenna TV. My world is driving me crazy. My world? What world? If your world is controlled by alcohol, there is hope. We're AA, alcoholics helping other alcoholics get sober. You'll find us in the phone book, your local newspaper, or on the web at aa.org. Sometimes coming home can be a battle in itself. Our wounded warriors need everyone's support to meet the challenges they face every day. The USO provides every American a way to support them and their families. What? It's good to be back. Join us. Visit USO.org to learn how you can make a difference in the lives of our wounded warriors. The USO. Until everyone comes home. was meant to be. Everybody wants to get a great price for TV, but are you really getting a good deal? Let's find out. I'm going door to door to let everyone know how much money they can save with Dish. Don't panic, but you're paying too much for TV. <laughs> yes, you are. We're paying too much. Movie guy? Love movies. We like mysteries. Sports, all sports. All sports. Doesn't matter what it is. How much TV does he watch? It's on from the time I wake up in the morning to the time I go to sleep. Get all your favorite channels for less. Have you heard the news? There's a new way to save money, and you're looking right at it. Your TV. Packages start at just $19.99 a month for a full year. Call now and ask about no commitment and no contract options. The choice is yours. Who is your current provider? Direct TV. Direct oh, TV. Cable's just way expensive. About your bill. It's too high. Why are you too high? No! That's too much. That's too much. This is what this is going to save you your first year. $300? Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. First year. Plus, if you love movies, you'll enjoy HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars free for three months. That's over 30 premium movie channels. Coming at you. These movies just coming at you. I love movies. What else you got for us? And you'll also get Blockbuster at Home included when you sign up with unlimited access to over 100,000 movies, games, and TV shows. So I can get rid of my Netflix? That's awesome. That's pretty good stuff. That is. Why would you pay more for TV? Dish offers the same channels you love for less. Our prices start at just $19.99 a month. Call now to find out about no commitment and no contract deals. That that's, is that's way cool. Yes. Sounds great to me. So switch to Dish and get the best deal in entertainment. The most watched channels with prices starting at just $19.99 a month. All of this and the bill went... That's what I'm looking for. She wants you to switch to Dish. <laughs> so I just, I heard that. Call now to get HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars, and Blockbuster at Home included, plus a free DVR. They got a lot of freebies in there. I like this. I'm feeling like it's time to do something different. I'm excited now. No brainer. Come on, man. Let's watch TV. I love it. Let's get over. Make the switch and call Dish today. Let's watch TV. Than our beat up old Wellingtons. They do to me, honey. 
We come out like gentlemen through the door. Oh, you cutie. He's talking about you, darling, not me. Morning, McKendry. Where's the wing commander? Search me, Mac. I'm a stranger here myself. Who's in command of this squadron? Inside. Hey, Shorty, front and center. My name's Hamilton. Sorry we're late. We're all a little punchy. No shut-eye for the last 36 hours. Been on maneuvers with the airborne guys over Ireland. Hmm, so I heard. Hey, bud, catch. Thanks, Mac. I just thought someone should salute someone around here. Where'd you get that bonnet, Mamie? Sorry, but nobody laughs at the Red Beret twice. Excuse me. Take that cabbage out of that silly face. I don't have to, Limey. You wanna play? Say, I know you. Kelly Field. You were the guy that was flying that... Come on, Penny. Well, what did he mean? Some mistake. But he sounded as if he knew you, didn't he? he got his wires crossed. What's this? Cinderella's pumpkin. Where'd you get it? Little game called poker. Does it go? We'll soon find out. We children used to hate leaving here when the holidays were over. Somehow, nowadays, we never seem to come to the place. Where would you get the time? I suppose you're right. Gee, it's good to be in a house again. Of course, we people forget that you're miles and miles away from home. You must miss not having your own home to go to. We miss a lot of things. You ought to do that more often. What? Smile. It suits you. Oh, put a match to the fire, would you? Sure. The wood shouldn't be damp. Mother was here a fortnight ago. That's something I could miss cheerfully. Close them completely. I. I want to look out. At what? Mm, sky, guns. I should do this more often. Didn't you ever tell me? Tell you what? I believe you're in some sort of trouble. You believe that? You believe anything? No. I believe you're hiding something. What have I got to hide? The American sergeant today, the one you picked a fight with. I picked a fight. Made fun of the beret. 
Anyway, he seemed to know you. You seem to know an awful lot about technical flying. Or so the boys who jump say. And that funny ring you wear. American officers wear that too. I noticed it today. You ought to belong to the FBI. Tell me. There's nothing to tell. Why the ring? S. McKendrick. Serial number 47532. Go on, Canada. Go on. I was flying a B-24 testing rockets. Bob Murray was my... He was my co-pilot. Bob was... I used to call him Robbie. He and I were as close as any two guys could ever be. I was crazy about his wife and his kids. Practically lived at their house. One day, we were coming in on a target. I was testing rockets. A rocket that got caught in the tube. I got to thinking about Robbie and his wife and his kids. I knew I could land it without exploding it, but I got to thinking about them, and I told him to jump. He didn't want to. He wanted to ride it down with me. I told him to jump because there was an order. He jumped and he... He Roman candled. Yeah. Yeah, he Roman candled. I had to tell his wife. Never forget the look on her face. That's when I handed him my resignation. But why? It wasn't your fault. You... You gave the proper order. Yeah, that's what the War Department said. That's what they all said. But I was through giving orders. You can give too many wrong ones. You filled in quite a few blanks. Why you're over here in this regiment. Why you don't want to take a commission again. Or do you hear that? <laughs> Things get around. You know, you should have accepted. All that's over and done with. So what? Uh, let's drop it. I wish I could help you. You can. No more true confessions. <laughs> don't blame me for all of it. I don't. I guess I'm just a sucker for candlelight. The man with the camouflaged heart. The Adventures of Rim Tin Tin on Antenna TV. Have you heard the news? There's a new way to save money and you're looking right at it. Your TV. Now you can get this channel and a whole lot more for less. Just put down the remote, pick up the phone, and switch to Dish. Prices start at just $19.99 a month. Call now and ask about no commitment and no contract options. The choice is yours. Take a look at what you pay for TV today, and then look at how much you could save for the same channels with Dish. And if you like movies, you'll love this. Call now and get Blockbuster at home included when you sign up. Stop spending money month after month for Netflix and get over 100,000 movies, shows, and games delivered to your door from Blockbuster at Home. And only Dish gives you your favorite channels for the lowest everyday prices nationwide. So, why pay more for the same channels? With prices starting at just $19.99 a month, Dish is the best value in entertainment. Call now and get Blockbuster at Home included when you sign up. And for a limited time, get HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars free. Plus a free DVR. Let's watch TV. Call Dish now. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real, naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Plus, we'll also send you this $250 gift certificate just for calling. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair. So don't put it off any longer. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. 
Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-447-7520. That's 1-800-447-7520. I was having trouble getting out of bed in the morning because my back hurt so bad. The sleep number bed conforms to you. Wake up in the morning with no back pain. I can adjust it if I need to, if my back's a little more sore. And by the time I get up in the morning, I feel great. If you have back pain, toss and turn at night, or wake up tired with no energy, the Sleep Number Bed could be your solution. The Sleep Number Bed's secret is its air chambers, which provide ideal support and put you in control of the firmness. And the bed is perfect for couples because each side adjusts independently to their unique sleep number. Here's what clinical research has found. 93% of participants experienced back pain relief. 90% reported reduced aches and pains. 87% fell asleep faster and enjoyed more deep sleep. For study summaries, call this number now. We'll include a free DVD and brochure about the Sleep Number Bed, including prices and models, plus a free $50 savings card. And how about this? Steel springs can cause uncomfortable pressure points, but the Sleep Number Bed contours to your body. Imagine how good you'll feel when your muscles relax and you fall into a deep sleep. I'm not just a back surgeon, I'm also a back patient. I sleep on the sleep number bed myself and I highly recommend it for all of my patients. Need another reason to call? The sleep number bed costs about the same as an inner spring, but lasts twice as long. So if you want to sleep better or find relief for your bad back, call now. Call 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit with DVD, brochure and price list. Call 1-800-975-2900, and you'll also receive a $50 savings card just for inquiring about the Sleep Number Bed. Ask about our risk-free 30-night in-home trial. That's 1-800-975-2900 for your free information kit and a free $50 savings card. Call now. Winter kitchen. Well, that means snow. I wonder where we'll be invading next. Switzerland? Not if they advertise it on the board. Kendrick. Come on in, man. Yes, sir. Well, carry on with what you're doing, son, Major. Come in, McKendrick. Stand easy. Thank you, sir. Well, it's nice to have one's judgment proved right occasionally. I suppose you know what I'm talking about? No, sir. Well, I think you should. Withholding information about previous service on enlistment is quite a serious offense. But I don't think I'll take any action. Sir, who gave you this information? Strictly confidential. I think I know. I'd like to talk again about that commission. Still feel the way I did, sir. Kendrick, you've got to grow up someday. You can't run away from responsibilities, even the smallest ones. As if you do, one fine day, whether you're wearing three stars or three stripes or nothing at all, the men are going to look to you. And when they do, I hope to heaven you don't let them die. Yes, I hope to heaven you don't. Well, that seems to be all. Sir, I... Yeah? Now that the United States is in the war, I'd like to go and join one of my own outfits. That's all the same war. Would you take a commission in your own outfit? No, sir. I'd stay a dog face. Then you might as well stay just where you are. Yes, sir. Sir, Major. Sir. Send the file back to security and say thank you for the information. And, Sir, Major. While you're about it, make me out an application for transfer to the American Army. But don't take his name off the commission list. What's the matter, darling? You want to be an officer's girl. Well, I suppose I shall have to be someday. Not mine. Darling, I just don't see any sense in making an issue out of a simple thing like this. What you told Colonel Snow? Snow? You had it all figured out, didn't you? 
A little heart-to-heart -heart talk, that would fix everything. But I didn't tell the Colonel anything. That was something between you and me and nobody else. Look, I haven't spoken about you to anybody. I don't believe you. Whether you did or you didn't, it's no good. You know too much about me anyway. Perhaps I do. At least I know it's time you grew up and stopped nursing that pet phobia of yours, you pathological hero. So long, baby. Wait, can't wait, kids. Off the downy, lads. Rise and shine. Draw your winter kit from the quartermaster stores. We leave in one hour from now. Stand by your beds. Turn out the contents of your pockets. Got to be particular what the jerrys find on you if they take you prisoner. Or find you dead. Any questions? Yes, sir. But it's Sunday to die. Well, well I'd made plans. So is the army. And they usually win in cases like this, especially tonight. Come on, let's have a look now. What have we got here? Nice little crate you got here. Fine, fine. These are your children? Yes, sir. Fine-looking boys, this evening. Thank you, sir. Would your lordship like a nice cup of tea brought to him in bed this morning? Move yourself, son! Next man, are you gonna stay in bed all day, too? Hey, did you hear what he said? He called you son. What do you want me to call him? Daddy? spot of news for you. Three hours ago, we began the invasion of North Africa. The first army has already landed successfully near Algiers and is moving east towards Tunis. Sir Major. Now, our particular objective is the airfield here. So it looks as though we'll not need our smoke here. We refuel at Gibraltar and leapfrog 350 miles ahead of the army to take this airfield and destroy it before the Jerrys can get there. They want it just as badly as we do. They're probably rushing reinforcements there at this very minute. So this is a race that we cannot afford to lose. Rupert, get those shoots clear. Right, sir. Come on, my stick. So you stand fast. Come on, son, Major. Get going. Get this stuff out of here. Form a chain. Robert, whose aircraft is this? Mine, worse luck. I'm afraid it's a write-off. Your boys will have to wait for the next lift. But that may not be for days, sir. Sorry, old boy. Yes, Jimmy. They want us to win plane, sir. All right, get them cracking. All right, Sergeant Major, get them aboard. Good luck. Battalion! Nothing for it, children. Turn in your shoots. How about it, sir? Not a chance. Forget it. You're both under close arrest. Heaven help me, so am I. Come on, let's go. Come on! Holy cats, look at those crazy bee feeders. Asking for a court martial, a lot of you. Yes, sir. We're very sorry, sir. Not to throw you all off the plane. Now wait till we get over that airfield. Well, shut that. Block. 
blasted door or we'll never get airborne. Get this ready for demolition. Rendezvous at the end of the airstrip. Yes, sir. Right, you two sappers, over here. Now get your charges out. Right, we're going to blow all this stuff up now. Another episode of Circus Boy, just ahead on Antenna TV. Your city. Quite a scene around the Los Angeles area. Your community. From Hollywood. In Cyprus. In downtown Los Angeles. Your choice for news. Sky 5 was over the scene. Every weeknight at 6 and 10. KTLA 5, first to break the news. We cover every story like a local story. Our carport just got caught on fire. 125. I'll just... The forecast for where you live. Temperatures are going to be even warmer tomorrow. KTLA 5 News, Southern California's local news source. Weeknights at 6 and 10 and at KTLA.com. My world is driving me crazy. My world? What world? 
If your world is controlled by alcohol, there is hope. We're AA, alcoholics helping other alcoholics get sober. You'll find us in the phone book, your local newspaper, or on the web at aa.org. So, I got this new family, and I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Taste what the sun makes. Touch what the wind shapes. Open your door. It's your nature. Explore. Hear the songs. Feel the beat. Leap like a frog. It's your nature. Explore. Dance like a leaf. Branch like a tree. Splash like a raindrop. Breathe it all in. Children's bodies and minds grow better when they connect with nature every day. For great ideas about how you can help the children in your life get out and grow, visit NatureExplore at arborday.org. foods to the right temperature using a food thermometer. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. America loves TV. That's right. Antenna TV. TV, how it was meant to be. If you can delay till the very last minute till the Jerry's actually get here, it'll give us just that much longer. We love it, Gosa. Don't you worry. So, Major? Sir. Ready to move. All in the rear. All in fire. Advance. We're setting up a roadblock. If we can get them across this road, we'll be all right. Help you. 
Kendrick, go on over and help. There might be some medical supplies in it. Yes, sir. Anything I can do to help? No, sir. I think I can manage. How's that container? It's coming, sir. Some schmeisers, sir, and a funny-looking gadget. Ask the patroner. If that was a cup of tea now, it'd be some use. There's a stubborn yank here, too, McKendrick. Look, sir. This is a rocket type bazooka. I think we can make a path if we fire this on the ground and. And exploded the mines? Yes, what do you think? It might work. We'd have to supplement the bazooka with grenades. One minute. It's worth trying. I can't move fast enough with this leg. But I'll give you covering fire from here. Go out and try it. Fifty seconds. I repeat, no escape is possible. This is your last chance to surrender. What are you waiting for? Forty seconds. You had to face it sometime. That was in the cards from the beginning. I told you before, you've got to grow up someday. What if it won't work? What if these men get... When are you going to stop running away from that, McKendry? Thirty seconds. Maybe you're right, sir. Over to that shell hole over there. Bring some ammunition for this bazooka. Come on. Twenty seconds. Are you still with us? Good. Now, look. I sent McKendry out to try and blast a path through the minefields with the bazooka. Ten seconds. See if you can knock out that armored car. Then have a go at the mortar pistol. Yes, sir. Fire! Try and get that mortar. I'll cover you from here. But you pick out the target. Right by that rock. 
your heads down. Down. Fire. It works. Major. Do you hear? We're going to get out of here. Sir. Sir. Don't try and move. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on, sir. The way's clear. You hear moving? You hear them, sir? You hear them? The pipes? Do you hear them, sir? Do you hear them? We'll be all right. We'll be all right. I'm sorry for the man who used the pipes. And who was me? Was me. Listen. Listen. They're coming. Like you said. They're coming. Listen. 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 You don't need to shot. Nobody does. Saving this to the proper time. Your application for transfer to U.S. Airborne endorsed. Forget it, sir. It's all the same one. I've been wondering how long. I should think about that commission. I will, sir. Can you hand on with him? Yes, sir. All right, fellas, ready to move. Scotland. 